Hey, Zane. Yes, Jeffrey. What, what day is it? Well, it's supposed to be Friday. Oh, it is Friday. <laughs> because we can pour a second time. Because today is second pour. That's right. And what are we having today? 1776. This is a barrel proof 113.4. And the rest is going to be coming right after this. Jeff. I always like to sound really enthusiastic. Welcome to second pour. I always want to go over the top on the second pour. Maybe we should both go over the top. Welcome to second pour. Ah, let's go over the top if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Meet me halfway. Oh my gosh, throwbacks. Across the sky. So to <laughs> that's actually really great. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna be talking about over the top. Whiskey. <laughs> this is another episode of Whiskey Pop. No. So we're gonna do second pour, 1776. We have done this We've before, done it, we've done but it, but this not this one. The barrel proof. Now here's the funny thing, when I was researching this whiskey, yep. there's not a lot of reviews on this one. There is on the barrel proof rye, but this is the barrel proof bourbon. Bourbon. So it's gonna be interesting how Barb. this rolls out. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. All right, so this is a 56.7 ABV. Another high proof. 113.4 proof. Its mash bill is 69% corn, 36% rye, 4% malted barley. It is uncut, unfiltered, baby, because it is barrel proof. That's right. Distilled in Lawrence Distillery in Indiana, which means MGP. Bottled at the James Pepper Distillery in Kentucky, who eventually will be producing this themselves. It runs 50 bucks. Allocated whiskey, but it's a barrel. And let's, uh, let's nose this, what do you say? Yeah, I say it. Now, realizing that we're having another high proof alcoholic moment. Well, we have a lot of high proof. Did I say alcoholic? I you want to talk about right? unfiltered? If you look in my glass, you can actually see. You got see some floaties? Some floaties. Interesting. Now here, here's the thing, with unfiltered, that just means, that just means it's good stuff, right? It's good stuff, <laughs> right? Yeah, that part of it's good stuff, right? All right, let's notice this. Now, whoa, okay, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of went straight to my eyeballs, but, uh... <laughs> you sure that wasn't the previous? <laughs> yeah, what's funny is this one's actually a lot more uh, into my nose than the other one was, even which, oh, I, I, which had a higher ABV. Pretty... I see you trying to think and you're gonna drink that shit. No, I'm just smelling it. I'm not gonna drink it. Okay. It. Now, I'm gonna say this is, uh, when I'm smelling it, I'm not catching like uh, a singular thing. I mean, it's very separated to me. I'm getting apple. Are you? Mm -hmm. Damn. Getting caramel apple, actually. <sighs> I'm just getting a lot of corn. There's a lot of corn. And, and, and you're not, and the rye bill, the rye part of the mash bill seems to be high, but it, it, it I'm, might smelling, be. I'm smelling more corn. Yeah, no, it is 69% corn, 36. It is what you would be considered a high rye. For a bourbon. For, for a bourbon, so yeah. it's 36%. So that is pretty high. You want to drink. Don't you do it! Okay, I didn't do it yet. Well, he was thinking about doing it. We had to It's second pour. We've already, I mean, uh, come on. Right. Okay, based on that, their website gives us zero info on the barrel proof. It's because it's ass. But what we do know is, is the that- website to ask. The website, not, <laughs> not the smell. But. So generally around or sweet and rice spice, vanilla honey, that's the key. Yeah, we're not getting notes. we're not getting the absinthe smell uh, smells or that. that no, side it's of, not that high of a rye. No, it's not. We're not getting that. I'm thinking about drinking it though. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just thinking about drinking it. I mean, you've been putting it off, putting it off, and I was going to drink it, but then you wouldn't let me drink it. I know. I know. It's all on me. Go ahead. You do it. Go. Go ahead and drink it? Yeah, do it. Are you waiting on me to drink it? No. Oh, okay. There you go. Hey, are you drinking it? Are you drinking it? Okay, so the the rye spice is like... <laughs> you know, actually, it's more like this. The rye spice is there. Is I'm also getting that, that 
sawdusty thing we get sometimes. Okay, you talking about that fresh oak cut oak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell of fresh cut timber. Okay, I can see that. I can see that a little bit. I'm still getting a lot of the apple. I'm still getting kind of that fruity apple. And there's one thing I just picked up. Breathe in. Listerine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hershey's chocolate bar. Yeah, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't taste chocolate. I'm the expert here. No, there's chocolate. Let me see. There's chocolate. Actually, let me, now it's that you that, say it. Let it's me that see. kind of that, yeah, it's chocolate. Kind of the oily, fatty thing going on. Mm-hmm. Chocolate, for sure. Yeah, I feel like. It's definitely yeah. at the end of the. It's at the end. It's at the end. It's not at the beginning. It's no. at the end. It's that last bit you're getting. It takes, it takes a while to get there. It kind of dries and then it's, there's the. Now, chocolate. that's the thing is I feel like this is very. It feels dry, right? Yeah, it's dry. It, it, it is, uh, you know. I say we look at the palette on this. You know, usually that's what we do. Let's look at the palette. Honey, cloves. Oh, look at that. Chocolate. Oh, go chocolate. figure. Go chiclet. <laughs> go chiclet. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm wondering if you're not cheating. No, this time I wasn't cheating. I do taste chocolate. Yeah, no, it's there. It's chocolate. It's there. It's right on the like, end. Like, it's there, it's there now, even, and it's been a while since yeah, I Yeah, well, it sits, it becomes more chocolate, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, it, it's kind of that dry, bitter end of chocolate. It's not the sweet milk chocolate. It's yeah. the bitter end of chocolate. Yeah. I will say it's definitely spicy, but the hug doesn't last very long, so I really feel like the finish on this is short. I feel like the finish on this is short, like short, short, short. Now, it's like super short, right? But after, but the only thing you could say is that the fucking chocolate, the chocolate is there. <laughs> it, but other than that, everything else about it is like we are Willy Wonka in my mouth right now. That's it. <laughs> Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. We jumped in the chocolate river. Yeah, and, and we're and drowning and getting sucked up. We're the up fat the pipe. kids getting sucked up the pipe. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean. Uh, now, here's the thing. Here's what they say about the finish. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Long lasting and warm. <laughs> warm is because it's high proof. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's rice. Okay, palate is rice spice. Bam. Yeah, right? for sure. A little bit of dryness comes across and chocolate. Like, I, I don't even think I have hardly any spit. It's dry. Chocolate and then we're like, done. Like, I'm gonna spit right now. You see, there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how dry this is. It's like drinking really dry wine. I mean, it, it's dried so in my mouth. It is dry. Uh, this probably has to do with the high count of the rye. Rye does yeah. tend to be so that way. So, this, this is not a long finish unless it's a you short just, finish. Unless you just count the chocolate being your long finish. And that that's just. I was thinking, I might have some 1776 still floating around here. I know what I got floating around in here. Hey, easy. Let's let's do a little comparison. Some have been drinking that. Well, I do drink not only on the show. I know, you drink on the weekends. Okay, so this is 1776 bourbon 100 proof. I like that smell. No, I get more of the green apple. That's yeah. green apple, straight up. Yeah, for sure. You can smell it, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's let's try it, and then we'll take the other one and compare. Now, the corn comes through way stronger on that than it does on the barrel proof to me. But I'm also tasting the apple. With yeah. It. And that's a long, pleasant, almost sweet finish. It's kind of the hundred proofs, like, hey, how you doing? Drink some more. Okay, I will. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's nice. Now let's go in on this. And this is more of the, hey, you want a drink? <laughs> you know, that's actually the best <laughs> metaphor to explain this. I it's like, this is the guy who's just the gentleman hanging out in the bar, and this is the drunk in the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, I, I, we shouldn't have done this comparison like this because this is definitely gonna change how I it, it, review this. It, it might. So, all right, let's, let's, I say we review this. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Okay, this is based off, if you're new here, it's based off our five finger reviews. That means that you know, have one one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger, five finger pours. Yeah. Five finger meaning that it would be fist in this thing, full glass. Yes, straight in the glass. One finger meaning that it's okay. Yeah. But it's so, not bad, it's, it's just okay. Just, it's just okay. All right, so let's review this. I'll go first. Oh, you're gonna go first? Yeah. Why don't you go first? Uh, because it's it's got, other products in its line. It does. So Old Pepper Old Pepper Distillery has 
1776, 1776 barrel proof, 1776 barrel proof rye. And then it has this thing called Old Pepper Distillery <laughs> Rye, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, so here, here, I really don't give a shit if I ever drink it anymore. Yeah, after having the 1776. The regular Which one. is 100 proof, right? And this one is 113, so it's only 13.4 higher. It's, but it tastes almost harsher than the 1776. Oh, it's, it's it's too much like up in your face and. It's like, hi! Yeah, it's I'm like. It's, 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 story, it's, not, right? it's not sophisticated. And I'm sophisticated. It's like Otis from Andy Griffin. There's no sophistication. Well, let me tell you something, Marshall. Sheriff. Yeah, he goes Andy. in, gets the key off of the wall, goes and locks himself up. I think this is a two. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is maybe a two. I'm gonna say this is maybe a two. I, I, it's I, a it's two. not. It's not a bad whiskey. It's just no. I don't. I didn't enjoy that. Um, can I can I pour this one into the other bottle and it makes it a hundred proof? And then yeah, probably. But I just think that they have better offerings. They have better offerings. Now I've heard that the barrel proof rye is really good. They have better <laughs> offerings. Barrel proof bourbon, it's okay. Yeah, I. The thing is, we didn't talk about it. But price point, fifty bucks. Or did we talk about it? <laughs> we did. We said retail value fifty dollars. You might have saw you that. You mean that here. part, right? Yeah, that part. So we talked about it. <laughs> the price point is fifty bucks. I just don't want to spend fifty bucks. True. I'll be surprised if you've had this and you give it higher than a two. Yeah, I, I think so. So what is it? Have you had seventeen seventy six bourbon barrel proof? Mm -hmm. Do you find you like that more than just the standard 1776? Or do you kind of feel like we do? It's like, it feels like, it's like too much. I would just say this as a viewer, I would pass. I would just tell you to pass on it. Yeah. Um, if you happen to get a chance, yeah, try it. It's, it's not, I, it's not horrible or anything like that. It's, no, it's just, not horrible. I think for 25 bucks, you can get the standard one and you're, you're going to be much happier. Yeah. It's just not feels, it doesn't feel put together -y enough for 50 bucks. You can tell it's uncut. And that's Maybe we should cut it? that a little bit, just a tiny bit. Yeah, you, yeah just Make cut it. Make it a hundred. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it would be more palatable in every way. So in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week. In the meantime. You didn't know which one you were grabbing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you grabbed the other one. I know which one I'm grabbing. So in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week. Hey, you know, drink safe, hang out with your friends, all that jazz. We will see you Tuesday. Yeah, that's when we do a regular whiskey pop. Regular episodes, whiskey right? pop. And we'll right? try another yeah. whiskey that later that week we will do another episode upon full second. Point. That's right. So you guys continue to be cool. We'll see you later. See ya. Cheers. Cheers.